Hi all, welcome to Team of the Week 6, looking like a not bad Team of the Week if I'm honest, um, some nice individual cards to look forward to, and then obviously the biggest thing that you can probably see when you see the full squad is the lack of standout silvers, this is where it will be a little bit interesting to see who they go for, I feel EA are a bit um, off the pace with it because there's a couple I'd want to go with, but I feel EA aren't doing them for some reason, I don't know why, I feel EA just seem to have this little agenda against certain silver, certain bronzes and I thought let's just put in more golds to compensate so see how we go and take it from there so basically starting off with one goalie as per usual just now because we have absolutely no conviction in two goalies these days with EA it's like whoever's doing the predictions just seems to be kind of not necessarily ruining it but it's just the way it is so Henderson 7 saves, clean sheet and a 9 on Sky, he's our featured team of the week. Big performance from Nottingham Forest. Him or a one you should get in, but I feel Henderson's probably more convincing because goalies is a little bit lacking in some departments. Um, defenders wise, Lejeune, 2 goals for him, Munoz, 2 goals. Now, the reason why both should feature, and even though they're both discard, is like they're both two goals from defenders, yet yeah, EA seem to ignore two goal defenders regardless if it's bronze, silver or gold. So, and defenders this week is even more lacking than usual, so this should be all the more interesting. Um, from there, Delict, a clean sheet and kicker team of the week. I've not got his match rating, um, but him, he's like one of the players that stands out, and because of the lack of defenders, um, could get a double boost and would make him even more um, usable at this stage of the game. Perejo, annual inform looks inbound, two assists for him, very impressive for Villarreal um, in their victory and I thought, got to go for him. It's like, seems academic and he also just boosts up the ratings as it were. Like he's, he's a discard option but you just take it nonetheless. Um, Dembele should get in for one goal, two assists, some outlets will have three assists, the ones that put three assists, um, like I've got it down as two, but we'll see what happens, um, obviously it's just hope and pray for the best, from there, um, Bellingham two goals, and he made um, kickers team of the week as well, so that helps his case, then Vinicius Jr, um, Vinny is like, some people will include him, some people will not. Two assists and a three on marker. Uh, Valverde could happen, but with so many special cards already, um, Val Vinny just seems more likely than Valverde. And when you're trying to juice up the team of the week as best as possible, he's probably a very strong shout for Hatton. Like, if you're going to give him a special card um, for a good performance, now's the good time as any. Mbappe is the most trickiest one of the week, despite two goals and one assist. He only got a 7 on La Keep. Messi got an 8. But Mbappe, um, free goal contributions, very hard to ignore. And if you are wanting to sell packs, this is your way to do it. Lataro Martinez, 2 goals, 1 assist and an 8 on Gazeta. Griezmann, 2 goals for um, him for uh, again, for Atletico. Um, looks like it could be his first like, maybe in form. And he seems to be having a wee bit of good form lately, so he may um, kind of work his way into um, contention, as it were, for a, like, as the month goes, I suppose, for more specials. Um, subs and reserves, um, obviously, it's not going to be this good, but should still be relatively good nonetheless. Griffo, one goal, one assist. Um, should be pretty academic as well. He was in, like, the, like, Freiburg just now are just clinical in all departments and I think that's what's going to help their case really. Um, like, it's hard to kind of like ignore them really if I'm honest. So it's like if he doesn't get in I'd be quite surprised but time will tell of course. Uh, Lacazette should get in for his performance. One goal, one assist and eight on a keep. Berkhaus was player of the week looking at all ratings. He got two goals, one assist, and an 8.5 on VI. Rabio, two goals and a 7 on Gazette. I pondered uh, Quadrado, but he got a 6.5 for his two assists, so I was kind of put off by him. Midweek games from the Prem could happen. Even 
or Liga in general, um, somebody's going to get in. I've went with Fred. He got one goal, man of the match, and a nine on Sky. And it was my night if you taught him, that's kind of why I went with it. Um, Almiron, he also got one goal, man of the match, and a nine on Sky as well. Danny Ings, two goals for him, and a nine on Sky. So, but obviously it's been pretty, pretty heavy here. Um, I fully expect somebody else from like Ligon or somebody else to sneak in. Brahim Diaz, two goals on any on uh, Gazetta, should be pretty academic. Buanga, could get ignored, could not get ignored. It depends how you want to go about it. He gets in, in my opinion, simply because of MLS playoffs and it being LAFC v LA Galaxy. It was like Derby um, waiting about it. So, and also he's a gold, so that helps his case, two goals uh, for him. Remy Cabello, two goals. Um, definitely rolling back the years for him, as Leo won 4-3. Um, Tom Bradshaw, a hat-trick, and Renzo Lopez, a hat-trick, and one assist in the Argentinian League. It's one of those ones you'd easily miss. Uh, Silver Star is uh, Roman Del Castillo, one goal, two assists, and eight on like, a keep. Feel he is pretty academic for like having. I think he have a thing for just completely ignoring some of the obvious ones, as it were. And you've just got to kind of say, well, who gets in from that kind of perspective, and also from La Keep, just for reference as well for Leo. Um, Leo game Cabello was a seven. Um, Angel Gomez was an eight, but I feel Cabello just does enough to get the um, team of the week uh, for that performance. So just to run through top possible, Messi one goal to assist in eight on keep Lewandowski uh, three goals over three goals and one assist over the two games. Haaland two goals, Sula one goal one assist a clean sheet and a spot on kickers team of the week. Cuadrado two assist and a clean sheet and a six point five. Feel one assist, Simicus one assist and a clean sheet, but it was only a seven with Sky. Aaron one goal, Perro one goal, uh, one assist on a clean sheet. Uh, Delay one goal on a clean sheet. Mess Rocky Mesa one goal, one assist. Same with Cristaldo. Meyer two goals. Bruno Marino, Harvey Barnes, our Maxim Morales, and Easy all in the one goal club. Rodrigo two assists. Nacho two goals. Arigi one goal, one assist. And Sam one goal, one assist. Um, Awobi two assists. Sergio Sergio Leon two goals. Uh, Andreas Pereira, two assists and an eight on Sky. Telemans, one goal, man of the match and a nine on Sky. Uh, Danny Ward, five saves, clean sheet and a nine on Sky. KDB, one goal, man of the match and an eight on Sky. And Azarkin, one goal, one assist and an eight on VI. So, could be plenty more, as I said, see what tomorrow brings us. Let me know in the comments below if there is anyone else I may have missed. As I said, I feel like I've got everyone under wraps. Much like always, folks. Sub to channel if you're new, and I'll catch you all later.